What's good? I know it's kind of been a minute since I posted on YouTube. Uh, you know, I can't really explain it. Just, <laughs> I've been kind of taking a break from content, um, but I wanted to start this new thing up. I don't want to call it a podcast just yet, more of a series where I can be a lot more serious with you guys, a lot more personal, give you guys kind of more like raw footage of how I really talk, how I really act, because most of you guys may see me on like short form media spaces like Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I really want to get more serious on YouTube. Um, you know, there's a reason why, you know, I'm always so like upbeat and hype on Instagram and TikTok, which is totally true. I am that type of person, but it's not, you know, my genuine, you know, mindset. I don't walk around like that. I don't really carry myself that way. I like to carry myself more of a professional, get things done, do it the right way type of guy. Um, and, you know, that stuff really doesn't do well um, in the short term spaces. So hopefully I can give you guys kind of both sides of me. Um, you guys can obviously get a more, you know, idea of how I am, how I act, how I approach, you know, everything in my life, even if it's trading my life. And, you know, you guys can get that real insight of how I, you know, have success making money. I want this to be like a little podcast slash type thing that I can help, you know, people make money, answer questions, talk about trading, even outside of trading, just kind of like a little money focused, motivational podcast type thing that, you know, it can benefit everybody. Um. I love talking about this stuff. I love interacting with people that are also have similar interests as me. And I hope that we can kind of bring this together and make it a real thing. Make sure if you're not sub, just sub up, please. It really helps. I appreciate it. I'm going to get more consistent on YouTube. I promise. I want to jump right into this. Um, I don't like the trading space at all. You guys know I trade. Everybody knows I trade. I love it. It's my entire life now for almost five years. I'm not a fan of the trading space at all. Um, there's a lot of it on Twitter on most spaces there's always you know a pretty deep trading area somewhere where you can go watch videos you know have personalities in the space like me talk to them interact with them it's great okay but at this point um and kind of as long as i've been in it i kind of get to see people um you know i wouldn't say change over time but it's gotten to the point where it's just like who can flex the most you know and it's really not my thing i started you know making these videos in high school wearing a black tank top and with a hat on. And I've never changed my image. I don't want to be like that. All I care about, and like everybody else does when they first get into trading is to making money, okay? I don't have to flex or show off to anybody now. I have made it, I'm good. Obviously I have a long way to go and so does everybody. You can never stop improving, especially in the money area. You can make money until you die. But at this point, why would I, why would I change my image? I have no reason to. You change your image, you buy a cool car, you buy some cool fits, everything, you flex your Lambos or whatever. You do that to impress other people. You do that to show an image, have like an aura. For what? I don't, why would I need to, why would I need to impress anybody? Why would I need to do anything? We get kind of misconstrued with this. Everybody wants to get into trading. Everyone wants to start making money young, do all this internet money stuff. When in reality, everyone just wants that. Everyone wants to impress everybody else. There's no actual goal. Whereas I really love this trading stuff. I really love e-commerce. Anything you can possibly do. It's all about that end goal of being able to showcase that off to everybody else. And I have no problem with that. You know, at some point I probably will buy a nice car and have, you know, whatever I want. Everyone's starting to really fake it till you make it. And I can't stand that. I don't like it at all. It kind of gives off a non-genuine image to me. And at that point, everyone starts to notice it. Maybe they'll clown them in the comments. But overall, it affects the trading space in such a bad way because now everybody else, someone like me, who's just trying to make genuine content, make people laugh, be entertained, you know, also give people some education, it kind of ruins that for them because you start to pick up who's legit, who's not when you kind of are in the space. When you when I am a creator, I can go and look at other people and instantly tell, are they really doing this? Are they not doing this, okay? But, you know, to the untrained eye, the people who are just, you know, watching videos, taking in content, that may not appear that way. So, all these idiots that are trying to look cool, flex their stuff, like, I, it's cool, congratulations. But it just really turns me off in a interaction way, meaning I don't wanna spend my time watching other videos, interacting with other creators. I don't talk to anybody in this space at all. I don't I don't have any friends on the internet really that do trading. I don't have any people, you know, outside my life. 
other than the people in my discord, I don't talk to anybody about it because it's just, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it anymore. It's not something where I can go and talk to somebody else, kind of see what they do. How can I improve on myself based on how they approach let's say trading at this point. Now it's become such a competition who can do the best, who can make the most money, who can do this faster, who can buy the cooler thing. And it's just like, it really, really, you know, kind of killed my love for trading content. Um, obviously I still make videos. I always will. I really hope that I can be, you know, that smaller percent of people that actually give you a genuine outlook on things, help you get better, motivate you, all that stuff. But, as far as me absorbing content, looking at other people's stuff, I haven't touched a single thing. Anytime I see a sort of trading video, I skip it and look right past it. I just, I, I can't, it just, it just rubs me the wrong way now. Seeing new people in the discord, you know, talking to new people every single day. I really have gotten the idea of who has the opportunity to take this as far as they possibly can. Because we know in a space like trading, there is no limit or ceiling to how far you could potentially take this. And I've noticed a lot of the time is those people that are quiet, those people that, you know, obviously will step in, ask some questions, but they're not always consuming this content, this kind of idea that I just need to, obviously, once I start making money to just, you know, appeal to other people. Look at that image. They all have the correct end goal in mind, which is obviously make as much money as you possibly can. And it's just the biggest, like what the hell to me in my mind is because you see these people as potentially good traders, which, you know, most of the time they are, but you would kind of consider that with someone who's good with their money. Correct. So if I'm really a, you know, let's say profitable trader, I'm making these videos, I'm flexing to you. First off, like I was saying earlier, why would I need to flex to you? I'm already chilling. Second of all, wouldn't I want to put my money in better places if I'm considered a trader, someone who's good with capital? I just don't get it. I'm looking to I'm looking to be someone who has as much financial assets as they possibly can. There's three objectives I have before I buy any stupid stuff. It's buy as many houses as I possibly can be very deep in my long-term stock portfolio and give enough money to my family for them to be good before I start buying Lambos. I'm someone who's considered to be good with money. I trade, I live in the stock market. Why am I buying Lambos, bruh? It's just an odd lifestyle for me. Everybody wants the lifestyle. Everyone just wants to show off that they actually are in the stock market, doing whatever, making young money. Meanwhile, Todd with the no branded polo and no branded shorts on, and nobody knows who he is, is making three times more than anybody else in this space. And he's just, you know, outliving his best life. At some point, we need to focus on the correct end goal. And that is to succeed. You have one goal and it's obviously to make young money. And that's harder than anything else you will ever try to attain. The second you keep scrolling those videos and you keep watching and consuming them, you get the entire wrong vision. I want the cool cars. I want the girls. I want everything else that comes with it. Those are all additives to the end goal. And there needs to be a lot of humility in that for you to get there. And when you're flexing Lambos, posting videos, that's kind of the opposite. I want to talk about this story real quick. I was 18 and I went to my first real estate conference ever. Some of you guys may not know, I have my entire life set up to be built around real estate. Um, you know, when I'm getting old, it's such a cool and amazing area to get into all the opportunities, all the freedom you get from doing real estate. Um, I first got into trading actually just to build up capital to get into real estate um, when the time is ready. But I ended up going to this real estate conference and it was a three day thing. It was amazing. So much information um, at the time. I didn't know much. So it was such a like eye opening thing to me to see all these routes you can take all these opportunities that are in front of you. And I actually got pretty close with the speaker. Um, really cool dude. Um, I have his number, so we don't keep up like that. But someone I see as a mentor. And at the third day, he went around the room asking questions. There was about 500 people in the room. So I sat all the way in the back, you know, just because I'm young, I'm a kid. No one in this room is under 30 except for me. So I sat in the back, just minded my own business, didn't want to, you know, stick out at all. And we're asking this question, the day's wrapping up. There's about an hour left in this entire thing before everyone goes out and, you know, lives the rest of their life. For some reason, the question came up, why are you here? And, you know, he went around and probably asked five people. And there was, you know, I think I might have been his last question. But for some reason, he stuck his hand out and pointed to me and asked me, why am I here? I think he said some comment about how young I am. And, you know, obviously everyone looked over to me. 
I was kind of timid at the time. I didn't know what to say. We had these little sheets and we were following along with his questions. So people that didn't even get to answer or he didn't call on, you know, we're still writing down why they were here. And at the time, my one goal I put on that final spot was to retire my parents. And I said that out loud. I was like, oh, retire my parents because I was so scared. And everyone gave me a standing ovation. Everyone turns around, looks at me like kind of gasps when I said it. He was like, how old are you? I said, I'm 18. And I, everyone started clapping for me. It was a very like, I was like freaking out, but a super cool moment in my life. And after that, a bunch of people came up to me, gave me their business cards, talked to me for a little bit, said how lucky I am and how like happy they are that I'm into this so young. And I want to kind of equivalent that to you. So even me now, you know, almost two years later, I'm still extremely young. And chances are most people watching this, you are too. There's people out there that are 30, 40, 50 working jobs, aspiring to get into this, the areas and the situations that I'm currently in and that you may be working towards. But you need to look at the bigger picture. You have an entire life left to live. Some people my age are sophomores in college and are completely lost in their life. Some people double my age are in half of the position I am and they're still chasing my opportunities. I'm so happy that I got into this young and even if you are failing, you are kind of lost and you don't know what to do. The fact that you are stepping in this direction this early is already such an achievement. You are already in that 1% of people who are jumping on this at a young age because we have so many opportunities and positions that we can put ourselves in 20 years down the line are right now. And we can set ourselves up to be free by then. On a long-term aspect, you know where the stock market was 50 years ago? Imagine how much money you would be up right now if your parents... 30 years ago bought Apple stock. You're going to be in that same position right now. 30 years down the line, I promise you, Apple, Tesla, they're not going to be $180, $150 a share. You have opportunities in front of you that you are actually setting yourself up for. That's kind of my entire thing. Yes, I short-term trade, and that's really majority of the stuff you see from me, but I'm always trying to set up my future long-term stock so that I can be set up for the future so I don't have to do anything at all. You are so young, you don't need to hit these goals, you don't need to have these Lambos, cars, all the stuff you see on social media already, there's no reason for that. The longer you keep your head down, no matter the success you're having, the more you're gonna thank yourself down the line. I'm so confident in the fact that if I work on this, if I trade, if I pray, if I connect myself to the right things, if I talk to the right people, if I learn the right things, that there's no way I don't succeed in my life. And that applies to anybody and any skill they look to try. You guys know I'm really deep into golf right now. I'm working my butt off every single day. I'm going to the range every day, practicing my swing every day. I'm you know, praying about it every day. I'm talking to people every day. You need to have that same approach for any sort of aspect you're approaching. If it's money, if it's friends, if it's family, if it's you know your love life, whatever. You need to have that same approach and that passion, that drive to do that. I'm doing that every single day because I did the same thing for trading for four years and look what I'm doing now. If I apply that to any other subject in my life, it's going to be the same exact result. It's how much you care about it, how much you're going to work towards that goal. And if you do that, again, there's no route. If you keep going, regardless, if you just keep putting out, you're going to hit that one day. I was so deep in the can trading through high school, losing thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars every single week, month. I was mentally killed at a point. I kept going because at some point, it just it just can't get any worse. I got out of that and I'm finally doing amazing. And so many people would have gave up along the way, but it gets to a point where you're, so, you're in so deep that you have to keep going through it. And it's such a mental, mental bridge that people have to fight through. There's no depression, mental health, a financial failure, any of that stuff can block off and make up for how much of a successful life you will have if you continue to fight through it. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know. If not, I'll go back to my Mr. Beast trading videos. I got you guys, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We're going to kill it next week and stay safe. All right, I'll catch y'all boys later.